Hello everyone, so in this tutorial we are going to be creating a modular rock in 3ds Max um, We're also going to be creating the textures for it in Photoshop and ZBrush And by the end of this tutorial you should have a low poly rock that you can modularize and move around your scene and make copies of And hopefully start to build a little bit of an interesting environment with Okay, so to complete this tutorial, you will need a copy of 3ds Max, Photoshop, and ZBrush. I'm just going to give you a little quick rundown of the workflow we're going to follow. So just go ahead and pause the video if you want to read through all of that. Okay, so just go ahead and launch 3ds Max. We're going to alter our workspace like so. Just maximize that viewport and brought in a little reference image that I'm going to be going off for the rock. So what you want to do is go up to the top and select customize and go to unit setup. I'm going to make sure that they are correct first. Make sure that your metric is set to meters and that one unit in a system unit setup equals one meter. Okay, so in the create panel we've selected box and we're now going ahead and creating that and converting it to an editable poly. And we are setting its world position to zero on all three axes. In the editable poly roll up, we select vertices, and we are now just altering their position slightly with the move gizmo. You can see that selected at the top of the screen. Panning around the scene by holding down Alt and the middle mouse button. And now I've just right clicked and connected some additional edges. You can select the amount of edges you wish to connect in that little drop down menu there. So what I like to do for this is to turn on soft selection with some of the vertices selected and adjust the fall off. And what you'll notice is, is that when you move your selected vertice, depending on the weighting of your fall off, it will move the ones around it as well slightly. So we need to check that we've got our triangle count right. So if you click on the plus in the left hand corner and go to configure viewports, under statistics, make sure you've got triangle count selected and apply statistics in active viewport. So what I'll do from here is just continue to time lapse this section until the uh, low poly rock is pretty much fully modeled to 500 triangles. Another useful trick to use is the set flow function. If you just click under modeling and go to loops, you'll see set flow there. So if you do that, it will just average out that edge quite nicely. You can double click on an edge and it will select the whole loop. If you just hit control backspace, it will just remove that loop without um, crashing the rest of your topology. Okay, so now is probably a good time to save your work if you haven't already. And we're going to move on to unwrapping. So go to the modify panel and on the drop down list you want to select unwrap UVW. Make sure you've got polygon selected. And you want to select all the polygons. Make sure that ignore back facing is turned off. So just do that. Uh, we're going to get rid of these green edges just by uh, going down to the uh, UV editor and by hitting planar under projection, like so. I'll clear all of the green edges. Just do select planar after that. Now we want to go on to edge, the selection, and we're going to go down to point to point C. So very much unwrapping this like we'd uh, unwrap a box, we're kind of looking at the uh, three edged vertices and joining them all together, just around the lower edge, the rock. And we're going to do that all the way around except from the front side. We're not going to put a seam around that edge. This is because we want to peel it apart from that side, so we want that to stay all nicely connected. Okay, so we're just going to go down to pelt, and we're going to click start pelt, stop pelt, 
and start relax and commit. And then go to tools, relax, just to relax it further. And check our check a pattern on it like so. So we're just checking that our UVs are all nice and uh, spaced out, nice and even. All those little checkers that you see on there, you want them to be as close to the same size as possible. And we're going to finish this section off just by docking the UVs of that rock into the top left corner of our texture map. It's up to you where you dock it. Um, I'm just putting it here because I plan on populating this uh, texture space with other assets as well. So I don't want this getting in the way. Okay, so once you've done that, just collapse the uh, unwrap UVW and export your model out as an object file.